my first YouTube video after a long time and on this prep. So let me see how many weeks out uh, we are. I think we are 54 days out from the competition. And today, as it is a Monday, we are going to train back and biceps. And if time allows, we are going to hit the rear delts and the abs. <clears throat> so let's uh, meet in the gym. Starting with neutral grip pull downs. So, doing higher rep uh, warm ups with the first exercise. I prefer to have uh, 8 10 reps with lighter weights for the first exercise because it eventually warms me up. So, from the next exercise, when I will be a little bit warmed up, the reps on the warm up sets will be a bit lower. So, this is maybe the last warm up for the neutral grip pull down. Set number one, and uh, I'm hoping to get 10 12 reps on this set. Let's see how many I can get. And based on this, I will determine my back offs and how many back off sets I will do. It will completely depend on how, how much intensity I can bring on this set. If the set is intense enough and I can get the required amount of reps, then I will do only one back off. And if I feel that reps are getting sloppier, intensity is not there, then I may resort to two back sets. So let's go. So during the last rep, I think I jerked, so I won't count that, but the set was intense enough. So I will be doing only one back off and I will drop the load off with 10 kilos because it is feeling quite heavy. And I will be getting back to the last warm up set weight again, but this time I will try to push failure on this set while keeping the correct technique. So the only back off set, the reason, the part of the reason I am doing only one back off is to hyper focus on the back off set. I will be, see I have only one opportunity to accumulate quality volume on the back off. So I have to make the best use of this. So my mindset is to get, to keep the quality of the reps high and to bring my lats to the proximity to failure so let's go and see how many we can get
so back movements are really tough to judge failure because you can complete the range of motion complete the rep with some amount of bicep involvement and doing a little jerky hip extension movement so my uh, pointer to myself that where when we reach failure on the set of the lat and the rows is when the rep fluidity is gone if i cannot complete a complete fluid rep although the rep may be slow but it should not feel like you are stopping at particular range of motion it should feel fluid you can press you can grind with the press but you cannot grind with rows and pull downs because the back when the back muscles are contracted they are really weak and other muscle involvement from your biceps from some hip extensors will take over and which will only create extra uh, fatigue so it is better to terminate the set when the rep fatigue is gone the next exercise is the chest supported rows and i want to do this to bias the traps the rhomboids the whole upper back so the pointer here is to drive my elbows out and to let that happen to keep my elbows out what i have to do i have to not sit here a kind of here so that my elbows can come this way so the shoulder retraction scapular retraction can take place okay so this will be my second warm up set let's see how it goes if i had to use bigger plates here uh, this is 40 kg so 220 kg plate will take this much amount of space so the effective center of mass would be kind of like here so uh, the lever arm being the uh, center of mass being closer to the pivot it will provide less resistance but as you use smaller plates or you use bumper plates the center of mass is kind of like here a little bit forward so there will be much more resistance um, even the weights are equal but the resistance will be more because of the lever arm here okay and the drop off drop off would be a little bit more and i think using smaller plate feels more good on the resistance uh, on the strength profile of the lat uh, sorry the back musculature because if you use spread out plate one it will provide you more stimulus on the stress and the drop off of the resistance will be a little bit higher drop off depends on a lot more factors like how fast you are pulling the reps but everything others being equal plate uh, distribution makes a lot of more difference than you can think of my upper back is smooth the upper lats the rhomboids the traps all are hit you can get pull downs and the set supported row motion now i want to do something to my lower division of the back that is a little bit of erectors and little bit of lower lats so how can we hit the lower lats either we can do some amount of low row see your shoulder from here to kind of like here if you do any kind of row or pull down where your shoulder angle is open at the stress position you can hit your upper lats quite well but to hit the lower division of the lats or to hit the lower portion of the lat you have to perform the exercises at a contracted position of the lats and for that 
the best exercise I can think of is now, except from a low row, will be a T bar, single arm T bar row where you grab the handle here. You can see my lap shoulder angle is almost close. The lats are shortened. Now I'll shorten it further and it will hit my lower lats quite well. So the last movement for the back, which will be a dumbbell bent over row, where I will try to flex and extend my back at the same time. Done with the back. Now I'll be training the biceps.